This is Bryce Van Patten with Metal Express Radio, and today I'm talking with Jessica Perry, drummer extraordinaire of the heavy metal prog duo Dianthus. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I wanted to ask you, what, when did you guys come up with and what uh, led you to come up with your band name? Um, yeah, so um, Dianthus, for most um, people, um, they don't realize it is a, a, the name of a flower. So um, a carnation flower in particular. Um, yeah, a Dianthus um, flower, it represents longevity. So oh, we really cool. loved how it was feminine as far as, um, you know, of course, a flower. And it had like that kind of metal kind of sound to it. So it sounded kind of hardcore. And we want our music to last a long time. So... Ultimately, it really defined us well. Awesome, awesome. When did you first know that you wanted to play music? Um, from a very young age, actually. Um, we started piano at the same time, my twin sister and I, um, at the age of seven. And we really loved challenging ourselves and um, covering our favorite songs. And it was just really fun. So um, we took up drums and guitar, and, and the rest was history from there. Absolutely. And... Um, who were your first influences? Um, as a drummer, actually, I'll give you my drum influences. Um, I, I look up to Neil Peart of Rush and um, Mario Duplantier of Gojira, um, also Danny Carey of Tool. A lot of the, a lot of the prog and groove. And do you feel lucky to have a sibling that's as passionate about music as you are? Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Um, yeah. Especially being a drummer too, and. Um, having Jackie um, on guitar, we're able to, um, you know, be really flexible. And um, I try playing guitar; it's a little bit tough, but I'm glad she she's there to compliment the drums. Yeah, how did how did she end up playing guitars? Were you already just playing drums, and she decided that guitar was the best plan? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It was like kind of like the Van Halen story a little bit. <laughs> um, I tried practicing guitar and for some reason the coordination for me was um, a bit tricky and so I, I suggested uh, maybe Jackie try the guitar and she was really um, inclined to it already because she is a left hand um, um, she doesn't play the guitar left handed but she is left handed oh, wow. so it kinda came naturally to her which is cool um, so what was your first drum set? <laughs> my first drum set I still remember it very vividly um, it was a groove percussion, um, like a blue sparkle five-piece mm -hmm. standard kit. But um, I remember it, it wasn't the best quality wood. <laughs> it's like plywood or something. But um, it was something, though. It got me on my feet to playing drums. Right. And it's yeah. just great to get started. It's exciting even, you know, and sparkles are so classic anyway. That's, that's oh. really cool. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your songwriting process and... Uh, how you and Jackie come up with your ideas? Yes, um, for songwriting, it, it's very, um, um, you know, it's different every time. So we usually have a process where the drums come first. Um, I'll come up with a groove, and then um, my sister Jackie will come up with a riff for guitar. Um, it usually works out that way. Um, sometimes we do start songs with piano, and then the rest kind of follows. So it depends what kind of mood we're in. If we feel like we're getting more aggressive or heavy, we'll definitely start with drums or guitar. Do you ever start with like a song melody or a lyrical idea? Um, we actually do, yeah. Sometimes we will. Um, we'll look at lyrics and then um, Jackie will come up with a vocal melody or mm -hmm. um, a guitar riff. Yeah, so yeah, it's different every time. Okay, awesome. So you're working on your second album titled Realms. With producer Steve Evitz, who's worked with Dillinger Escape Plan, Symphony X, Butcher Babies, to name a couple. Uh, what does Steve bring to the table when you're creating an album? Yeah, um, he brings quite a lot, too. Um, having his insight in the studio, it's so important because um, it's just my sister and I writing the music. So when we have Steve with us, he is an extra ear. So um, he um, also has experience with playing bass, too. So he gives really great suggestions for moving the song in a lot more heavier kind of way. Because um, Jackie and I have more of the classical approach, and Steve's just got that rugged metal approach, and less is more kind of thing. So he adds a lot. 
Yeah, does he help when you're putting together, say, verse versus chorus versus intro? Like how much of this or how much of that? Does does he help out in that respect as well? Yeah, um, he definitely um, kind of guides us with song structure. So, um, yeah, he'll um, make suggestions that will move the song um, in a way better way than what we thought. Um, so it's really good to have him there. And, um, yeah, he does offer insight with um, yeah the way songs should be built, too. Definitely. It sounds like you guys are really comfortable working with him. We are. We are. He, um, we've been working with him for about like a year now. It's really crazy how fast time has flown. But um, yeah, he's just a, a great friend as well. Very kind guy. So I asked you about your first drum set. Can you tell me about your kit that you play now and what uh, led you to get that? Yes. Um, so the kit I play now, it's a Tama Star Classic. Um, Babinga birch um, wood combo. So it's very cool. It's got a really loud, um, larger than life kind of sound because I kind of um, got that inspiration from Mario because he plays Babinga wood. So I'm um, really happy with Tama. Um, the finish of it is a black to um, silver fade. So it's kind of like my shirt here, actually. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. I was going to ask you, what is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you at a gig? Oh, well, <laughs> so there's been a lot of, of yeah, little um, flukes here and there. But um, probably when I was first starting to get used to a click track, and then um, I would have to improvise if I fell off the cliff track. And um, it, was, it wasn't as bad because my sister and I, we catch on really fast because she's able to read me really quick. So. Um, probably, yeah, falling off the click was a little little panic attack there. <laughs> but we caught on pretty well, though. Awesome. Um, when can we expect the next single? Um, the next single, um, we're looking for um, a date in November. So um, maybe before Thanksgiving, maybe. So um, definitely sometime this fall, we'll release another single. Awesome. Awesome. And the album? The album, um, it's tentative for um, early next year, so um, maybe around January, February. But, um, you know, with everything, all the delays happening with the current situation, um, we are hoping for early next year, though. So, Excellent. How has the COVID situation affected the way you work on music? Yeah, um, it has been really tough, you know, with no live shows and, um, you know, but it has pushed us to really um, get our audience online and connect with you guys online. So it, it's been really cool. You know, we've had to sit down a lot in front of our computers and figure out how to live stream and stuff. But um, other than that, yeah, it's been tough without like face to face performance, but it'll come back soon. I know. I hope so. You know, there's a lot of people out of work. Um, I have friends that work in production and stagehands and they have no income whatsoever because there's no stage work, <laughs> you know, so, right. so let's hope, hope that comes back. Uh, what advice would you offer to young people who want to follow their passion to become a musician? Yeah, I, I would say don't give up. I mean, the beginning, it is always the hardest, you know, um, sometimes you can't you can't see your your um, your dream very clearly. But, you know, if you keep building and you keep um, honing your craft, um, and focus on the little things, just being the best you can at your instrument or your voice or whatever it is artistically. Um, I would say just keep pursuing and keep grinding until you can see you can see the light. So Halloween's coming up, and I just wanted to ask you, do you have a favorite Halloween movie? Ooh, <laughs> um, I'm a huge fan of um, the whole Tim Burton kind of creepy kind of um, cartoon kind of stuff. I love that. Um, probably um, The Corpse Bride is my favorite. It's it's um, a really comical kind of cute comedy. But I love the aesthetic of the whole, um, the figures in the movie, the way they did that. It was really cool. Anything Tim Burton. Yeah, it has a great look to it. Um, yeah. Was there anything you'd like to add for our audience today? Um, just a huge shout out to um, everyone who's listening. Um, all the Dianthus listeners, thank you guys. And also for anybody new who's tuning in, thank you guys for checking out this interview. You guys rock. Well, thank you uh, again for joining us. And we look forward to the new album. And we wish the best of luck 
to you and Jackie and hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, this Alrighty. has been a blast. Thank you. Thank you so much.